As of the 2024 bathing water season in England, 27 new sites were added bringing the total monitored to 451. What set these new additions apart from the others is that just under half of them were along rivers where wild swimming and bathing were popular. Previously, rivers and other inland bathing sites were woefully overlooked with the majority of sites being coastal. The addition of inland river sites is a positive move towards a more inclusive monitoring network, acknowledging the importance of these sites to the general public who use and enjoy them. However, there is still scope for improvement not just in number of sites but also how they are monitored. Currently, the bathing water season runs from the 15th of May to the 30th of September, during which the 451 sites are sampled once a week, a labor-intensive task for the Environment Agency. From the other side, once weekly monitoring might provide a good general picture of water quality at the location, but it isn't comprehensive enough to detect pollution events which might happen at other times in the week which would also impact bathers. It also doesn't take into account October to April, when people will continue to use the water despite it being unmonitored. Is this something we can hope to change with the current shift in focus to increased monitoring, such as Section 82 of the Environment Act 21? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.